Hi and welcome to Design School by WP Algorithm. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to sell multiple WooCommerce products at once using an image and using Elementor Pro. So you have this image and when you hover over it, you get an add to cart button and click on that. It's added to cart and just like that, you can sell multiple products at once as you see here. Hi, my name is Karthik. I am a web developer and the founder of WPAlgorithm.com on Design School by WP Algorithm. I make step-by-step -step WordPress and Elementor tutorials to help beginners build amazing WordPress websites. If you're a beginner or if you want to learn how to build amazing WordPress websites, subscribe to the channel and let's get started. Now, I've actually seen it on a website called hkbasics.com. It's a Shopify based website, but here's an image that has multiple products and this is a click based tooltip. And when you click on it, it shows the product. When you hover over it, you can view it, add to cart, or when you click on the product itself, it takes you to the product page and you can do something very similar in Elementor Pro, right? So you can have this and you hover over it, you can have an add to cart, click on the cart and it's added to the cart and you can verify that from the cart drop down, or you can take him directly to the cart page, let him check out and stuff like that. So all this just by using Elementor Pro, let's get started. Now, if you don't have Elementor Pro, you can get it from the link in the description. And the widget for this tutorial is called Hotspot widget. If you don't have it, you need to update your Elementor Pro. Click and drag the Elementor Hotspot widget. Now, since we're trying to sell multiple WooCommerce products at once, have an image that has all the products in one photo, right? I'm selling this demo site is based on plants. So I have this image which has all the different kinds of plants, let's say. So let's say this is a different plant. This plant is a different plant. This plant is a different plant. And I can sell each one of them, right? So that's great. Now come down below. Let's start adding hotspots. Based on the number of products, you add as many hotspots. I'll just show you two hotspots. So I just added two hotspots. Also, let's keep the image size at full, right? So that way it occupies the entire space and the products are clearly visible. Let's align it onto the center if that's the case. Now, don't add anything to the label, right? It's better to keep it minimal or you can add an icon library hotspot. Let's say I added this arrow. It's not clearly visible. So we need to change the hotspot a bit, but don't worry about that. I'll just pick none because that looks better. And you can also change the position of the hotspot and also the tooltip. So let's come down below, click on tooltip and let's, this is for all the tooltips. You can override this at for each tooltip for each hotspot. So I'll just pick top or maybe right usually, right? And trigger how you want this hotspot to be triggered. I just want hover based. And the best part about trigger is that you can customize it for mobile and tablet. On tablet, I want click based and on mobile, I, I want click based trigger as well, right? So that's really neat. But anyway, that's how it's going to work for us. Let's come back to the desktop mode, right? So it's hover based in desktop and for tablet, it's you can also pick the animations. That's great. Let's change the position of the first tooltip. So you, for every tooltip, click on hotspot, click on the position. Let's try changing the hotspot and the hotspot is not yet visible. So we may have to adjust a few things, right? So let's go click on hotspot. Let's change the color to something intense so that we can actually spot the hotspot, right? Now you see the hotspots in action. And when I hover over it, there's a minimal text that pops up. We can totally change it. We'll make it display a template when we hover over it or when we click on it. I'll also change the size of the hotspot to 30 pixel. So you can see the red circle, right? You can now see it very clearly and you can change the other different things, but we'll just have a template. So we don't really have to worry about that. And tooltip, well, we'll just leave the default settings because we're anyway going to use a template. So I'll just click on content, click on hotspot. You can add as many hotspots as you want. So these are basically the red dots. Let's adjust the position of the first hotspot. So it's placed on the white plant over here. Click on hotspot, click on position and 
this is horizontal offset when you, when i click and drag the slider you can see the hotspot being moved so i just want it around here right right on that plant so that i can have hotspot properly placed right and best part is this is responsive so i'll just click on update and i placed it on the plant in a random view but even when i change the window size you can see that it's still relative to that particular plant right so even when i'm changing the window size it's relative to that plant and that's really good because these hotspots by default are responsive so it's not like when you scale the window hotspot goes somewhere else right it's right there where you placed where you want it okay so click on the position position it's great you can have custom tooltip property like i said for each hotspot so if you want this tooltip to be at the top right now you see the tooltip color at the top over here you can adjust this you can have a minimum width and stuff like that we'll get to these once we design our template let's also place this over here over this plant so i'll just click on item 2 or the hotspot 2 click on position and i'll change the vertical offset a bit just horizontal offset a bit so i just want it right there you can add as many as you want i'll just show you two you can add multiple and place them wherever your product is placed in the image right i'll click on update now i'll go to dashboard and what we really want to create is a section so when we hover over each of the hotspot we need a template that gives us that add to cart button so that it can be added to the cart over here and the cart is there in my header so you can see that in action you can basically redirect him to the cart page or do whatever you want so i'll just click on add new i'll create a section and i'll call it so this template we're basically designing for the first hotspots tooltip so instead of the text we get that hotspot right i'll just delete this i'll have a section and the things i'll also have a minimum height so i'll click on height and go with a minimum height and the things that i want within this section are basically the image of the product that i'm going to sell click on image let's pick the image for that plant this one just a demo so the size i want for this since it's appearing in the hotspot we want it at a really small size because it will then overflow out of the view so pick a thumbnail that's a good practice go to advanced and to make it better click on advanced of this image go to mask and choose the mask option circle mask would do or you can pick an artistic one anything you want but i'll just go with circle right and i'll leave every other setting as is so the image then we need a bit of text describing what the whole thing is all about and let this be a div aligned onto the center let's also adjust few things maybe text color also typography maybe i can go with 20 pixels i can have this weight okay now and the next thing i want are ratings and you can use the star rating widget by elementor not a problem and let's also align it onto the center let's say the average ratings for this were 4.5 you can enter that num number here icon well you can pick font awesome you can either pick this or that and let the title be ratings so that would do right image we have the name of the product and the next thing that we want is the add to cart functionality so type add to cart it's this custom add to cart widget by elementor click and drag it again i guess click on the button alignment center and click on the product and the product just pick the product that you're trying to add to cart so it's money plant i'll pick money plant here so when this button is clicked money plant is added to my cart so this is for the first hotspot also i'll just click on the column and i'll also give a white background 
we can make it a transparent one but let's see let's play with the background a bit right we may give this a white background to make it stand out i'll update and the reason why we did all this was when you design a section in Elementor Pro, Elementor Pro gives you a short code so that you can use the short code anywhere you want, right? Again, I'll have another dashboard tab active so that I can get the section's short code, right? So this whole thing will appear when we hover over this hotspot, right? The first hotspot, the money plant hotspot. I'll click on dashboard. Again, go to templates, click on save templates and it's this one, sell product one, right? You have a short code in WordPress, wherever you can enter text, you can also enter short code. Just copy the short code. So it's this one. Now go to the hotspot, click on this, click on the hotspot, go to item one and within this paragraph, just paste the short code and it should just work fine. And we'll fix few things if it doesn't work. Let's update. And let me click on preview changes. And just like that, we have our plant, right? The title and the ratings. I think we need to change the text color of the ratings or the title in here. So you can always come back to the template, go to style and it's this one, right? So I just need to click on style, text color. Let's pick, I'll update. Now, if I update this page, you can see that perfectly right. And watch what happens when I click on add to cart. The product is add to cart and you can see that here. Let me do that again. I'll hover over this hotspot, click on add to cart again, and you can see the cart changes. Now, if I view that, there are two money plans added to the cart, which is really neat. Right now, let's do the same for this hotspot. And this is what I call innovative use or the creative way to use Elementor Pro. If there is something that doesn't exist, you need to create it just by using the fundamental WordPress concepts. That's what I did just now. So we need to create another template for another hotspot. Again, I think let's create a new section. I'll just click on add new. Go to section, I'll call it sell product two template. So I quickly sped things up, right? I added another image, another title, another ratings, and I'll also add another custom add to cart. And this add to cart button will actually add the another product and I'll pick another product. You can pick the one that you have, right? Maybe I'll pick this star cactus, whatever, right? I'll update. Again, if I go to dashboard, I'll have the short code for the second section as well, which is what I'm going to use as the tooltip content for the second hotspot. So copy this short code now, right? The cell product too. Again, go to the page where you have the hotspots, click on this item and in the tooltip content, remove the text, paste the short code. And if you want, you can change the position of the tooltip as you wish, right? Click on custom tooltip properties. You can maybe have it at the bottom if you want. Let's do that. I'll do that at bottom. I'll click on update. I'll click on preview changes. And now I have the second image popping right below this hotspot. I can click add to cart. The cactus plant is added. Money plant is added. Let's view the cart now. You can see the money plant and the cactus plant being added and the user can simply check out from here. So this is a crazy way to sell multiple products all from within the convenience of a single image. I think this is really cool. What, what do you guys think about this? And to make the hotspots even more visible, you can go to style under image. You can use CSS filters to increase contrast or stuff like that. So this was the actual image. I'll click on contrast. I'll increase the contrast a bit or reduce a bit, right? Now the hotspots are even more clearly visible. So this only applies to image. Let's preview this now, right? Now this is more clearly visible. And when you hover over it, your product is there ready to sell, right? So it's that simple. That's it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. 
If you want to watch more elementary tutorials like this, check out this playlist at the top. If you want to watch WordPress basics, check out this playlist at the bottom and I'll see you in the next one.